advice would you have for somebody today, young people, who have come up with an idea like you had at college? And like, how do, what, what would they do with that if they don't have the funds? They've got a great idea, they've developed it, and then no funds. Well, I mean, they're, 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 w w right now, for example, I have, I'm um, running an internship right now with Illinois Tech, and I have um, 25 masters in computer science who are going through this internship that I'm doing. I call it see one, do one, t uh, build one. And, and what, what I'm doing is that I'm putting them in a group of fives and, and giving them project with the goal and objective that that project at the end is going to become a, a company or product that's going to be sold. So, so the journey, you know, the, the creating the, the value proposition and, 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 and the statement of what, who's going to be the user and, and really looking at the business aspects of, of any product or any idea is very important. You have to validate it. And, and that validation, um, there's a lot of ideas. Don't, don't stop, your, vision, don't stop your, uh, your, your dream. Pursue your dream. But be aware of the fact that some dreams, maybe the market is not ready for it. Or you, maybe you're too early. Um, is always... If you can hold on to it and develop the infrastructure and support infrastructure where when you started, at least you have a, um, a runway to be able to take off, mm -hmm. um, uh, you, know, it, it, it just, you know, you're going to be always in the ground. And mm -hmm. so I would say um, identify the value, identify the market, mm -hmm. and then be, um, be aware of one thing um, that I changed my life was this um, uh, book good to great and a hedgehog concept. You know, you want to be able to be passionate about what you're doing and you have to be best at it and it has to make money. Okay, sometimes two, two out of three is not bad, but you have to have somebody else to come up with the other one. But without right. the passion yeah. and without, you know, you, 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 you're really chasing something that you may not be as happy. Yeah, and do you think it's uh, more, it's, it's, it's helpful to have an MBA? With Business business degree or partner business degree. I, yeah. I would say I had an MBA, but I would say, um, uh, you know, bringing a right CEO into your organization. Um, mm -hmm. Bass Plummer, which was my uh, CEO that I brought in early 2000, and he was an MBA uh, graduate uh, from uh, Stanford. He was instrumental. And, you know, what I did with my company, um, we were small. But then we suddenly had this mission critical responsibility across all the um, electronic health record in the US, especially when the ICD-10 came, where we went from ICD-9, which is uh, International Disease Classification Version 9 to ICD-10. They went from 50,000 to 90,000 codes. So now we have to do, we have to make that change. And some of our changes, because we had 5 million code mapping to those 90,000. So we had almost sometime a release had nine, 1 million changes. So to really make that organization happen, you needed an operational person for a successful business. You needed a business person and you needed a strategy. So um, I had a operational person and operational person was things that happened day to day. If the client has a problem, you have to resolve it quickly because we are mission mm. critical. And then you have you know, what I call tactical person, which was my CFO, and he would look at the annual number, making our cash, our budget is there, everything yeah. is there. And then you have a strategic, which is the long term, you know, three or four years. So you really have to think about the biz business as a, not a just, making a cash to, tonight. You have to really look at today, look at the annual event and you have to look at a, a three years trajectory. Yeah.